So over the last couple of weeks, you've been seeing my home office, my church office, and my back porch. <laughs> so today, uh, you get to see the uh, front entry, uh, part of the front entry of our home. And uh, so, you know, ultimately you're going to get a virtual tour. So maybe at some point I'll show you the bathroom and then I'll show you the other bathrooms and, you know, maybe I'll show you the kitchen and uh, maybe I'll show you the living room. Let me show you, you know, <laughs> a few other rooms. So, you know, before it's all over you with, you'll, you'll get a full view of the house. But uh, what I want to get into today is uh, I started this morning on the spiritual side. Uh, watch and know the seasons, know the season you're in. But today I want to get really practical this afternoon. And that is, do you need a lifeline? And and what I mean by that is, is you know, do you need a financial lifeline? Do you need a solution right now to help make ends meet, to help pay the bills, to help make sure food is still on the table, to make sure there's still a roof over your head? Um, so I want to give you some, some practical things you could do right now, right this minute, right this week, that would begin to put money back into your household. And the reason this is important, I'm, I'm just going to go back to my own experience. Uh, so 2008, I started a church in Corpus Christi, Texas. Uh, did that by faith, no external support uh, to speak of. Ended up losing everything. Uh, my family and I ended up having to move in with friends in January of 2010, and we lived with them through August of 2011. So I absolutely know what it means to lose everything. I know absolutely what it means to have no money, to not be able to buy groceries, to not be able to provide for my family. Uh, in fact, during that time, a friend of mine uh, even had to buy me pajamas so I had something to sleep in. So, so when I talk on this topic, um, it's not just speculation, it's not just theory, it is from the heart. So please understand that everything I'm going to share with you, these things you can be doing now, these are all things that I have done to uh, rebuild from that point. These are the things that helped me move from a friend's spare bedroom to uh, you know being able to live in a studio apartment. That was the first upgrade. Uh, these are the things that I still do today to create multiple streams of income in our household, which has allowed us to really get through this shutdown uh, fairly well so far. Um, not that we haven't had some effects, but knowing what other people are going through, we certainly have had less of a severe impact uh, because of the way we've been able to put these things. So as I talk through this, I, I want you just to take some of this to heart. Now, I'm gonna speak a little bit generally in this video but I want you, if you want more specifics on any topic that I cover, then I want you to reach out to me. And what I'll do is, is I will just do a private uh, video conference or, or messenger chat with you and walk you through in greater detail some of the specifics. Uh, but let's, let's start with the first thing. And, and that is being able to, to take what you know and turn that into income. So what we call this is freelancing. And there are people who will pay you to do tasks for them that A, they either do not have the time for or they do not have the skill for. So one of the things I was doing 10 years ago is I started writing blog posts for people. And I would charge them, you know, 20, $25 a blog post to write 500 to 1,000 words on a topic that I was familiar with, and I did that to create income. Now, that's one thing you could do. Uh, let me blow this out a little further for you. Uh, you could keep somebody's books for them. Uh, there are people who need voice coaches. There are people who are looking for English tutors. There are people who are looking for people to do spreadsheets for them. There are people who will hire you to do photo editing, video editing, uh, sound recording, proofreading, uh, all sorts of things. In fact, the story I, I often tell, one of my favorite 
freelance projects I did was a client in Israel who paid me $50 an hour to call him one day a week, Sunday morning, 7 a.m. And my job was to ask him, did he follow through on the things he told me he would do the previous Sunday? And if he didn't, I was to hold him accountable. Why didn't you do those things? What are you going to do this week to make sure those things happen? Remember, $50 an hour to do that. Okay, I don't know about you, but $50 will buy a tank of gas, buy some groceries, might pay for your prescription at the pharmacy, a lot of things that that $50 could do for that one hour of your time. Now, let's keep going. There are all sorts of projects you could be doing. If you're good at talking on the phone, there are people who need phone people. They need people to answer phones. They need people to set appointments. They need people to do follow-up calls. If you have any kind of artistic skills, photography, graphic design, uh, music, lots of people hiring for those things. If you have technical skills, sound engineering, videography, uh, web design, programming, you can sell those skills all day long. There are specific websites that will actually match you up with people who are hiring for those types of things. And, and let me just preface this. I still do freelance projects and I make really good money doing freelance projects. And so you can literally, if, if you've got the expertise, and drive your hourly rate into the hundreds of dollars an hour. So don't miss that opportunity. Okay. Second thing I did is I got involved in direct sales businesses. Now let me explain what that is. So years ago, let's go back 30 years ago, my wife and I first got married. Some friends of my parents invited us over for dinner and during dinner, a whiteboard showed up and a guy I'd never met before. And we ended up getting pitched on a home business. And it's one you're all familiar with. And we said no <laughs> and decided we would never be a part of anything like that. However, when you are homeless, when you are trying to rebuild your life, when your back is against the wall, you will do things that you never would have considered before. And so I had the idea in 2008, what if I took that type of business, but I used the internet to find people who already would shop in a business like that. And I began to marry those two things together. And so what that did, that actually was one of the biggest catalysts that got us out of our friend's spare bedroom and got us into our studio apartment. It has been a big part of my business lineup ever since. However, let me say this, there are good direct companies and there are not so good direct companies. And in today's world, here's the, the real key, is we're dealing with things that are essential and evergreen. And so if you're going to do those businesses, you don't want something that is going to deviate outside of what people are already doing in their shopping patterns. So the two things that I have utilized, landed on, and, and believe if you're going to enter this realm you need to look at are automotive and household goods. People are going to need to maintain their automobiles if money gets tighter, their ability to maintain their automobiles well so that they last longer, so they run better, so that they are not in the repair shop, that's key. So one of the businesses that we operate, that's what it focuses on. Second business we operate focuses on household goods. People are going to continue to bathe themselves, clean their houses, take care of their pets, all of those types of things, right? They're still gonna take vitamins. They're still going to, you know, look out for ways to be healthier. 
They're going to want to make sure their home is nice and clean and smells fresh and all those good things. Those things will continue to go. Now, there's some other caveats. Obviously, right now, things like disinfectant, hand sanitizer, uh, you know, antibacterial soaps, great market for that. That's a business you want to be in right now. So those are the two places that we've positioned ourselves. Um, there are two companies that we work with in that direct sales environment that deal with automotive and deal with household. Now, here's the second piece of the direct sales business though. And this, this is a wealth concept you need to understand. Rich people understand that you, you make money and you get wealthy by using other people's time, money, and talents. So in the real estate investment world, when we buy real estate, we use other people's money. Um, to run a successful business, my consulting business, agency business, I use other people's time and talents. Uh, same thing works in a direct sales business because the one thing you're doing is you're not just acquiring customers, but along the way you're gonna pick up other people who like you want to create a business for themselves. And so you're actually building your own sales team as part of that. Where most people struggle with direct sales businesses is the recruiting side of things. And, and that's not really what you want to get into. You don't want to be a recruiter. What you really want to do is just find customers and then customers who, who seem to really want to push that a little further, you just show them how to turn it into a business. And so that's a whole lot different than the ambush that, you know, Carol and I had 30 years ago where, hey, we want to sign you up to, to sell this. That's a horrible way to do things. A whole lot easier to, to get somebody a product or service that they're going to use consistently and this show, just show them, hey, you're already using this and here's a way just to monetize that process. Okay. Uh, next thing you want to do is look at consulting with people. Um, how can you teach somebody something that you already know? Uh, so there's, there's ways you can do that. You could do one-on-one -on -one consulting. You could do group coaching. Uh, you could do, uh, you know, record a series of videos on something that you're an expert in and then simply sell those videos as a, a, a way to teach other people things you do. Um, I've got friends that are doing personal training online. Uh, I've got friends that are teaching music online. I've got friends that are, are teaching, uh, you know, web design, sales, um, all sorts of things online. So, so that's another piece of the equation. Take what you know and just simply monetize it. Often we we lack the confidence in what we already know, and yet people are always turning to us for certain things. So again, that's one of the things that I, I figured out and began to utilize. Um, so if you ever go out to my business website, you'll see my books that I've written. Um, you'll see my software, you know, uh, or digital courses. All I did was I just took what I knew, stories I was already telling, experiences I already had, and I just packaged them. And even things like writing a book don't make this hard. So the last book that I wrote was Desolate Places. Here's how I actually wrote that book. I took three hours, I recorded it on audio, and I hired a woman in South Africa to transcribe it and edit it for me. And then I spent $5 on Fiverr to have a book cover design. And I put the whole thing together and sent it up to Amazon. Another great way to make additional money. Um, other things you can look at doing. There are lots of people who always need just odd job kind of things. Mow lawns, clean up lots, haul off debris, uh, help paint a house, help paint a room, help help do little project oriented things. Right now is a great time to go clean people's gutters. Right now is a great time to help people with their flower beds, to, to do some landscaping. Take things that already interest you, things you already know, and learn how to turn those into money. Those are, are some of the, the key things that you can easily do. And so those are just four ideas, basically four categories of ideas that you can utilize. If there's one of those you'd need more information on, maybe you want to know where that freelance website is, hit me up. 
I'll discuss it with you. I'll walk through how you get there. If you're interested in creating a direct sales business to where you've got consumers just doing their thing, buying stuff, but you can make an income off of that, hit me up and I'll show you the two things that we do. No obligation, no pressure. If it's for you, great. If it's not, it's okay. What I really want is for you not to feel like your goose is cooked. <clears throat> Again, having been homeless, having lost everything, having had my back against the wall, I understand not having a lot of options. And I also understand what it took to get from there to where we are today. And so part of what I'm offering to you is sometimes you need somebody who's navigated that channel to get you out of the, the weeds. And that's something I've done. And so if I can help you do that, I want to do that. But I don't want to just help you survive. What I really want to teach you how to do is how to thrive even when things are crazy like they are right now. What's been kind of fun for me in the last four weeks is I've actually been busier than I normally am. I've created one entire new business that my first check is coming from uh, later this week. In fact, I got the, the pay report on it uh, yesterday. Uh, I've landed new clients in my consulting business. Uh, so, so things can happen if you'll just take the steps, but sometimes you don't know what you don't know. And you just need somebody to pull back the curtain and go here. Here's another option for you. So I hope you find this helpful, more of a practical discussion, more of something just to give you some food for thought, give you some ideas. And let me just say this, everything that I put in front of you uh, in this video, you can do without taking on an additional financial burden. Let me say that again. You can do everything I just went over without taking on an additional financial burden. So if, if that makes sense to you, if that's something you want to know more about, then let me walk with you through that. That's one of my greatest joys is helping people find solutions and thrive. And so that's what I'm here for. Have an amazing evening. If there's anything else I can help you with, reach out to me. Uh, that's one of the great things about this time, we're actually getting to turn the social network back into a social network. And so if I can be your friend, I can be your help. Let me do that. Talk to you later.